Okay, we all have accidents. Boy, did I have a doozy this week. Welcome back, friends. So I was in the middle of a recording session, this recording session, when I had a little mishap. You'll see that a little bit later. Oh boy, was it a mess. I, it took me an hour to clean this place up and to clean myself up as well. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do today is we're just going to make some, you know, some prints. I'm just testing some Yasutomo paper, the 9 by 12 that everybody told me about because I was using the much larger, I think it was uh, 12 by 18, and I was cutting it down. Well, guess what? I actually liked that one. Anyway, bought the 9 by 12 was a little disappointed in how thick the paper is, but I figured I'd give it a shot. And so this was, that's what this session was about. It was testing the paper, but I was also playing with some of my newest stencils and I was just, you know, seeing, seeing what I come up with. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so this is, um, these are the two papers. This, this larger one, this is 6JM. And it's actually a little thinner. It's probably the same kind of rice paper, but it's a little thinner. This smaller one that is the nine by 12 is the one that everybody in the comments is saying that is the better rice paper. It picks up well and everything. It's thicker. So I'm gonna just like in the future, cut down the larger sheets in half so that they fit on the plate nicely. But in this video, we're gonna do the nine by 12. Okay, so in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be using mostly Nova color paints. And this one is a cerulean blue. So I'm still using my deli paper to pick up in between, leaving me with a ghost. pretty nice dark ghost plus I, I always love the deli papers I don't always use them but I do like them okay so now I'm switching to Indian yellow which is a beautiful transparent color And I'm going to take that same deli sheet and go over it and pick up the yellow. Now, for some reason, the blue underneath the yellow did not pick up and it still left me with a lot of yellow on the plate. So I don't, I don't know why that is. Usually it picks up. So this is quinacridone red. And I'm just gonna squeeze into the areas around this, the masks. So I always like to peek underneath. Do you do that? Okay, so now I'm, I let it dry, and I'm going to pick up with some titanium white. So it looks like the white blended a little bit with the quinacridone red, but that, that might give us a nice effect. So this is the Yasutomo paper, the 9 by 12. Like I said, it's a bit thick. I did wait, you don't see it on camera, but I did wait about a minute and a half to two minutes, and it still did not pick up very well. But 
this was my first print of the day and sometimes that happens. Anyway, I left a lot on the plate and I decided I wanted to clean up. So my favorite way to clean up is by using paint. I know it seems like a waste, but I sometimes end up with really nice grungy papers that I can use as backgrounds, like the beginning of a, of a collage. Now this one I let dry for a really long time, like about four minutes, but it cleaned up all the edges, got every last bit of paint off the plate and left me with nice grungy borders and stuff. I will definitely use that paper for something. So now we're going to start again with the cerulean blue. So this first couple I'm doing uh, um, multiple layers, letting each layer dry and then picking up at the end. And in between, I'm using the deli papers to leave me with a ghost. A little bit later on, I will do layers where we tape down the paper and we do individual layers, not waiting for it to dry. I wanted to test this paper doing both techniques to see how it affected the pickups on each one. I wanted to see if I really like this paper or do I, keep, do I still keep looking. So remember, I have to wait for the paint to dry in between. And that, that's why I'm using the Nova Color because the Nova Color dries really fast. So I'm using the Quinacridone Red again. So I, I started to do that and I realized, uh-oh, no, got to do the deli first. So the deli is going to pick up within the circles, leaving us again with a ghost. And hopefully this time it picks up all of the paint within the circles. On that first print, on, when it was picking up the Indian yellow, it did not pick up the blue with the yellow. And this one did. It wasn't a clean pickup, but it did. So I'm going to try to pick up the rest of the paint with another sheet. And now we've got a really nice ghost that has both colors, the cerulean blue and the quinacridone red. And look at the really nice deli paper we got. But okay, so we're going to wait for this to dry. And once it's dry, I'm going to pick up with some titanium white again. But I'm good. this time I'm going to mix a tiny little bit of the Indian yellow. A little bit more than I intended. So now here's our Yasutomo rice paper. And like I said, I'm waiting about a minute and a half to two minutes on each one. I'm making sure the corners are really stuck down. And I'm feeling for temperature. Now because of the thickness of the paper, that's not as easy to do. So I'm really hoping that this time we get a nice clean pull, and we did. So I think on this one I waited a little bit longer than the first one, but I'm using the same kind of quick drying paint, and we picked up all of the paint this time. So I think it was probably more around the two minute mark. Okay, so now I'm starting with black.
And this is one of my new stencils. It's called Stained Glass. So I'm really making sure I'm getting in, in all of those little openings and I didn't get it all, so we're picking up with another one. Well, we have a pretty decent ghost. And now I'm gonna pick up with the, the yellow green. And we're going to go over that same deli paper. I'm really trying to push these prints. I really wanted to see if I really do something complex, how well is this paper going to pick up? So again, I had to I have to go twice. I don't know why. Usually it I get a really clean pickup. So it's a little bit grungy. But it's also very interesting. Okay, so this time, I think this is cadmium yellow. Yeah, cad yellow. And um, this is going to be the pickup layer. So this time I leave it a full two minutes. I'm not gonna make you wait for the two minutes, but I waited the two minutes. And I'm just reinforcing the corners, making sure the corners really stuck. And again, we got a really good pull. So you could see where some of that yellow was picked up and, and it should have picked up the black with it, but it didn't. It would have been more interesting, I think. Okay, so now we're gonna to try to do one that's registered, meaning that I'm gonna tape the paper down on the left-hand side and we're gonna lay the paper down in the same spot each time. And I'm gonna use some of my texture plates that I made with line cut just to add a little extra interest to the background. So this was an Indian yellow background with some texture. We're going right straight to the rice paper. And I'm gonna tape down the left edge on the left side. And each time I'm waiting two minutes before I pull up. So we lost a little bit in that upper right hand corner. I don't know why. And we're using some of this, uh, it's blue green mixed with a little bit of um, white. And of course I had yellow on my, the Indian yellow was still on my brayer, so that got mixed in. So we, we now have a very sort of greenish color, a little more green than blue. So now we have a ghost, so I'm going to take another piece of paper. We're going to lay down some Indian yellow first, and we're going to pick this up with another piece of paper. Now 
Now this looks like it's a thinner rice paper. I don't think it's the same rice paper. Yeah, on this really thin rice paper, I noticed that the paint comes through to my hands. So I should have put laid down another piece of paper on top so that I wouldn't have any paint on my hands. So I think I pulled a little quicker this time because the thinner paper really only takes about an, a minute and a half. Okay, so we're still taped off. We have that paper taped off to the left. And now we're going to add another layer. So I'm going to lay my masks down again. So this is a very easy way to do a registration so that your paper your, your multiple layers are all lined up in the paper the same way. Just the cost of tape. No special alignment tools, nothing. But that looks pretty good. Okay, so now as we lift, uh, we have a nice ghost, and I'm going to go over that print that we did on the thinner rice paper in, uh, in between that last one. And when I pick this up, it left an outline. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So this is golden paint and I'm adding a little bit of white, titanium white. And so oh, this is also the thinner paper. I don't know why I switched to the thinner paper and then I lifted too soon because I realized the paint was really dry. So then I decided to put a little bit more wet paint and try to lift. I waited a little too long and the paint dried really fast. Now see how much thinner this paper is now? It's a little too thin. So we're, we're like, in, we're not in the Goldilocks zone yet. <laughs> We've got one paper that is too thick and this one is too thin but I really like the way this print came out it's it's um, just an outline but I think it could make a really interesting background in a collage okay so we are getting close to my little mishap so I picked up this white bottle and it was and the paint wasn't coming out but then it came out oh my god <laughs> it went everywhere it was all over me, all over my desk, all over my clothes. I tried to pick up as much paint of, uh, the, as possible and get it back in the bottle. I didn't want to waste any paint. But I also, I mean, look at my hands. I mean, you had to see my clothes. I was just covered in white paint. It even made it onto the floor. But my whole desk, it was just covered in white paint. So as you can see from some of these papers, they also got ruined. I got white paint over a lot, over a lot of them. So um, it, it was kind of a disaster. Like, look at this one. It's a, it's a shame, but it's ruined. And uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe it'll make an interesting collage. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it was a real mess. At least I got a couple that did not get damaged. And. Uh, but after that happened, I just really, um, I didn't feel like, I was like, okay, I'm done for today. <laughs> no more printing, not for today. Okay, so what do you think? That was some um, accident, huh? So I guess um, that particular bottle was a cake decorating bottle from a craft store. 
not one of the ones that I normally get on Amazon and it just couldn't handle the squeeze and so paint went everywhere I mean you had to see me I was covered in it uh, I wished I could have turned the camera on myself because I was covered in white but um, I didn't want my camera to get paint all over it as well because it was all over my all over my hands anyway and there was nobody else here to shoot a picture of me but it was I can laugh about it now but yesterday it was not funny because I had a lot to do yesterday and nothing else got done so I cleaned up and I just called it a day because sometimes when something like that happens you shouldn't push it right anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video even with the accident and I will see you next time take care don't forget create inspire and share bye bye Thank you.